Hello there, welcome along. This is for Networking TV. It's great to have your company. It's fantastic to have you with us as well. And uh, boy, what an exciting day this <laughs> is. With me today, I've got Brad Burton. Brad, great to have you with us. Awesome, I'll be doing Steve. Great to have you with us. Awesome, and this is a very Steve. exciting time for Networking TV, for NTV, the actual launch. But the thing that's interesting about yep. this, of course, Brad, is the fact that we're coming up to a big birthday. That's right. And what a great way to celebrate a birthday by getting out there to all the people mm. uh, that are part of the Four Networking that's community. Right. You know what? We've been nine, nine years now, Steve. Nine years with Four Networking. And this was going to be for us uh, something new, something new for us, something new for the members. And it's, um, you know, nine years of, of it's been it's been difficult at times. Mm -hmm. um, but we're here and I think what Four Networking represents is this whole piece about what it's like to be running a business, a small business. You know, Four Networking, we started in a, a box room nine years ago, one group, and people said, oh, it'd never work. It's the wrong time to start a business off in that manner. It's a crowded, congested space. Look at nine years on, we've got 5,000 groups across the UK and it's just, it's amazing. And to be doing Four Networking TV from this amazing studio is just so exciting for us. Well, that's very nice of you to say so. True. <laughs> Let, let's, let's go back to the very beginning, the inspiration mm. behind it, why you did it and wh what you think businesses today are going to be getting out of it. Because let's face it, there are a lot of networking organisations out sure. there. What makes Four Networking stand head and shoulders above okay. those? We know... What we've done with Four Networking, we have this national network now, which is uh, run over 5,000 meetings across the UK uh, each and every year. But as a Four Networking member, you can go to any of them. So there's no other national network that allows you for the full length and breadth of, of, of the UK access to, uh, to a network. And we also have a, a website there which links everyone together. And I think more importantly, what we have at Four Networking is the one-to-ones, the sort of three 10-minute one-to-ones at every meeting. And effectively, these are appointments because regardless of what business you've got, um, you know, you need appointments. You can be the best plumber ever. But if you've got no appointments, you know, you're not going to be in business too long. And that's what we've done with Four Networking. We have these appointments. We have this unique format, which is very, if I'm honest, very British-based uh, networking. Well, I tell you what, let's, we've got a little bit of a presentation here, actually, that's going to take you through just some of the reasons why you should be maybe contemplating joining up with the Four Networking group that's near you. Now, as Brad's already said, there are thousands of groups mm. across the UK, and they're waiting to invite you in through their door so that you can get the benefits of the groups as well. Uh, we'll kick off with, we've got a little bit of a presentation, relaxed, fun, and friendly business networking. Already we've heard it's all about smiling. Mm. It's all about bringing a little bit of enjoyment to business business and I think that's really important these days a lot of the networking groups sometimes and we're not knocking no, no, them no they're, they're right for some people but absolutely. this one here is is so proactive with its members isn't it absolutely you know what we've got with four networking is this whole fun element because business networking needn't be hard work one of the things is if you think about you start your own business off you know you've come away from employment to be self-employed and do things your own way and that's what four networking allows and the fun element I went to networking events before, prior to four networking, and it was very formal, uh, very uh, stoic. Or I don't know, it, it just the wrong sort of energy for, for, for what I wanted. And fundamentally, when I asked other people, in, regardless of business, uh, they didn't want it either. So we've got this fun environment, which is genuinely fun, genuinely accessible, and genuinely really enjoyable for people. Because as I said, business networking needn't be hard work. But it's, but it's not derogatory to what the whole purpose of it Absolutely. is. So I think sometimes mm. the worry is mm. that when you combine the words fun and smile <laughs> right. and business sure they, they don't seem to all go together and in fact that isn't the case here is no. it it's about making business a little bit more enjoyable but making it more social well, when we when we started for networking off I, I came up with a concept which is 50 percent social 50 percent business and it works and it does because fundamentally steve if i don't like you and you don't like me we wouldn't be sat here today no. so there's an element of likability about the relationship that we've got and as such as such as that relationship we now have an element of, of business where we're doing business together same principle with four networking so this is what we try to do we try to get through those social barriers do i like somebody first and foremost if you do then yes you can move on to business and that's what four networking allows you to do with ease now, of course, the big worry that anybody's going to have that if you've heard about four networking, are there, is there going to be a meeting nearby mm. to you? Well, there are 5,000 individual meetings a year and everybody is welcome. You really can visit any group. That's what it says on the side. It actually does do what it <laughs> says in the box. And, and that's what's interesting about this. You've got an opportunity, no matter where you are in the UK, to go along and enjoy one of these meetings. They are very relaxed. Mm. I, I've been to a few of the meetings so where... 
we're based here in Surrey, and there are a couple of the four networking groups nearby. Absolutely. And of course, we're, we are members of four networking. Yes, right. So we go along. And I don't want this to sound like that we're, I think the expression is about blowing smoke. Right. But there is a real difference. I've been to breakfast meetings. Sure. I've been to networking of events. Of course. And I think with some oh. of these networking organisations, you can have the feeling that you're getting no benefit from it. Steve, you've got this whole interesting thing with networking in that fundamentally networking works for any person. And uh, later on, we've got a guest which will be able to explain how they've got it working. But networking does work for any any person as long as they approach it correctly. Um, what we've got before networking is these appointments. And when you do the 40 seconds, your 40 second uh, overview at each meeting, which allows you to stand up and say, hi, I'm Brad, I'm a marketing genius. What I do is this, this and this. And people go, ah, actually, I would really like to speak to Brad. I need somebody who, who, who can help me with marketing. And it allows you to then sit down and have the 10 minutes and establish first and foremost, one, do I like them? And two, do, have they got an appropriate service? It just works, it just works. It's the simplicity of it is the, is the brilliance of it. Mm -hmm. But when we started for networking off, we was a laughing stock. You know, when we come through, people said it'll never work. Genuinely, I had that people laughing in my face and said it'll never work. And that just drove me. And this is what's right at the heart of for networking, this whole willingness to make a positive difference in the UK. And that's what we've done for the last nine years and hopefully for the next nine years. Well, let's just take our way through a typical event, mm -hmm. a typical networking yeah. scenario. Uh, I mean, relaxed, yet yeah, productive. Mm. We look here, the first half hour, general start, chat, mingle over drink. Right. And when we say a drink, we actually mean what, a cup of <laughs> A cup of coffee, you don't mean a bottle well, of vodka, well, do we? Well, we do have actually, have, no, not anymore. Um, no, we do have actually have um, uh, lunch times and, and evening for networking meetings, and we don't really have a sort of uh, we've sort of banned alcohol from those things because people, when they get drunk, start falling over. <laughs> but so, no, it is generally soft drinks and uh, and tea and coffee. Uh, what about this, this PC? I always say that, and this is a bit of business advice for you as well. I always <laughs> say it's worth having a business CV in your mind's eye, also uh, to have something about yourself as well in your mind's eye. A minute, mm -hmm. rehearse it in front of the course. bathroom mirror stand there right. how would you do a pitch to your business mm -hmm. in a minute mm -hmm. what how would you describe Me? it well actually yes <laughs> interestingly okay you've got 60 seconds the team will be timing you if you had to sum up yep. one of these events or for networking in general yep. starting now your business needs appointments and you know one of the most difficult things about running a business is appointments getting people you can talk to that's what four networking allows it allows you this entire uk framework where you can work around your schedule think of it in some respects like a workplace for self-employed people so i can guarantee you right now there is more put people at a four networking meeting right near you uh, that are interested in your products or services than it is in your front room or upstairs in your box room pressing f5 send and receive waiting for emails do find your nearest for networking group it'll work for you do you know what? And it's really worth, uh, to the second in fact, uh, and it's really worth having something like that about your business in your mind's eye all the time. That is a great, great networking and even a great marketing tool right. as well. Have one of those for your business. Also, we always recommend that you have one of those for yourself as well, a personal one that tells a little bit about, awesome. you know, where you are, your relationships, your children, so you can share and you're not stumbling your way through <laughs> when it comes to presenting something. Okay, so we've got our first half hour. After that, then we introduce ourselves uh, to the rest of the group. Mm. Uh, now, while the meal is served and eaten, it's time for each person's 40 second pitch. No need to be nervous, it says here. Uh, the group is friendly and supportive. You know, they do say that when it comes to actually presenting, most people would rather die <laughs> than give a public presentation. Steve. <laughs> when I first started for networking, I was the same. I was shaking like a leaf, nervous. I remember I read online about when you, what you should do is have your notes uh, on, on card so that people can't see, see no you shaking. Today. No, 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 today. But that's a lovely little byproduct of for networking. Having done this for nine years, my ability to present and even be in front of a camera like this is as a direct result of the 40 seconds that I've done throughout the last nine years. Just an amazing byproduct, but understand this, that every single person that comes to four networking once was the new person. Every single person was nervous, includes me, but the more you do it, the better you become. So don't tell yourself the story that, oh, everyone else is gonna be great at speaking, because everyone started, including me, shaking like a leaf and nervous, but you know, the network is geared up for you, so please do come along and do check it out. All right, let's go through the rest yeah. of the meeting right now then. So what do you do after you've done your initial uh, 45 seconds? Well, followed by four site slots, a 15 uh, minute-ish, Inside, not a sales pitch, mm. but a great way for them to raise their profile. Now, this to me, I think, is the most unique thing mm. about going to mm. a four networking event. Mm. It is that 15 minutes 
to just discuss what my business can do for you and what your business can do for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. You know, the, the, the foresight slot, I've been to networking events and the reason we did the insight, not a sales pitch, is I've sat through sales pitches uh, at networking events. Horrible. And I remember going to one and a guy was banging on for 10 or 15, 20 minutes because he'd, he'd paid to be there, um, talking about double glazing and UPVC windows and everyone was just bored. It was horrible. And everyone knew he was bored, but then at the end of it, you've got to ask a question. So tell me about UPVC. Nobody's interested. So what we've done, we've made it a whole lot more jovial, a whole lot more educational piece, and it allows any member, any member, to go to any four networking group and book it, you pre-book it, and do the foresight slot, which is an insight, not a sales pitch, into a specialist field. Massive value. And, and it's this misunderstanding, I think, when it comes to networking events. A networking event, mm -hmm. if you were going there to sell, would be called a sell working <laughs> event. And it's not. It is about <coughs> networking. It may not be you that will purchase a Absolutely. product from me, but That's you right. may recommend me to somebody else. Really interesting point you make there. Um, if I was to ask people in a networking event who here has come to, to buy, can I have a show of hands, not a single hand would go up. Right? But that's the thing. But what happens is I've spoke to lots and lots of people who do actually sell products at, uh, at networking events or for networking events. So what you've got to do with for networking is this. Create the conditions where people buy instead of you selling. Right? Create the conditions where people buy instead of you selling. This is what we do at for networking. It takes a little bit of time. But it works, it works, it works. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Networking across the UK is a very successful way of growing business. But don't be going there thinking you're selling. Uh, you're actually growing your contacts yep. and most business these days actually comes from recommendation and that's the thing to remember you think about your current mailing list right now mm -hmm. how many of your current clients did you get from a cold call how many of your current clients did you get from a mail out you'll probably find that many probably the majority of your customers your clients at the moment are there because of personal recommendation Steve great point again uh, you know, when you're at one of these networking events, I've been to a four networking event and somebody says, it's not for me. And I say, why is that? Well, I need solicitors and there's none in the room. I've heard there's a networking event with solicitors down the road. If I was to say, stop for a second, can I have a show of hands? Who in the room knows a solicitor? Every hand would go up. So it's not just the person you're talking to, it's all the people they know. And the way that you explore how people, uh, sorry, who everyone knows is by building up relationships. So fundamentally, just because you're after solicitors, if you turn up to a room and you don't know anybody, you know, they're not going to go say, here's the ideal solicitor. Uh, so I always ask people this, would your approach work on you? It's a really good question. Would your approach work on you? Because if your approach wouldn't work on you, you need to change it. You know, I think it's the most serious I've ever seen you, actually. Sorry, Steve. And, and because, uh, you know, let's face it, business is serious. Uh, let's just uh, look then at the final section of what happens at a typical meeting. Uh, the final half hour, mm. the most important bit, three 10-minute one-to-one appointments with people you've chosen earlier by swapping numbered business cards. It's a very, very powerful way to actually, you know, to actually get to meet people, isn't it? The reason I came up with this concept... Um, and it happened actually uh, meeting two before network and we didn't have this uh, meeting one but the reason i came up with this concept was because i uh, when i had my own marketing business before for networking i used to spend six weeks ringing people up trying to get appointments there sending direct mails and, and the likes and eventually you'd get a meeting and you'd say oh, okay yeah brad come in and see me so i drive for two hours to your office uh, all the costs associated with that then pay eight pounds to park then come to have a meeting with you for an hour and then two minutes in after our meeting you recognize something steve that you don't like me and I don't like you and we've got 58 minutes of nonsense to go and that was the old way of doing it and eventually you'll have a meeting and it'll just gel well that's what we've done at for networking so you go to any meeting it's that 8 till 10 every single day around the UK um, and you go to these meetings you have three 10 minutes uh, appointments and as I said it's established whether I like you and you like me now What's really interesting about this whole four networking thing is I was over at Leeds last week and within a half an hour drive from Leeds Central, there's 23, I think it was, four networking events that as a member you could go to. So you work it around your schedule. So you don't archetypally network events, you've got to go to the same one. Don't have to do that with four networking. You go there because you want to. And that's one of the reasons that people are more jovial and fun because people are there because they want to be there, not because they have to be there. It's a fundamentally different way of doing things. And as you can see, I'm so excited about it. But... Nine years on, I'm ecstatic that we're still here. And nine years on, I'm ecstatic that all those members have stuck with us. It's amazing.
And it is amazing. And what we don't want to do, we don't want you to be watching Four Networking TV and thinking to yourself, well, it's just nothing more than the sales pitch for Four Networking TV. It, it, it's, it isn't that. What we wanted to do on this very first program was if you're brand new to the brand, if you've never heard of mm. Four Networking before, uh, to give you the opportunity to actually discover a little bit about what Four Network is all about. In fact, we've overrun by five minutes on this first segment. So what I'm going to do is, uh, Brad, I'm, we're just going to look at this. Here's how the membership can benefit you as a business and Brad if you can just talk us through the key things that we need to remember because in just a few moments time we've got a very exciting announcement about Four Networking. <laughs> Brad take it away. So we, at Four Networking you've got all these benefits there, you've got sales, you've got this choice, choice to go to any meeting, you've got the appointments, appointments are so useful, suppliers, social, online, it's the entire suite. It's the entire suite of everything that any small business needs because when you come out of employment as I did, it's a lonely place. It's a lonely, lonely place working for yourself and that's what we needed. So the benefits are there for everyone to read and see, it just works. You know, you can go and check out a four networking meeting for just 12 pounds at, at any of these sites. You can visit three times, give it a look, give it a look. It is fantastic. And the nice thing about it is you've got people in there that have got skills, you've got some wonderful names, Absolutely. you've got some wonderful people. That's right. You turn up at some of the meetings Absolutely. you do, you give your your motivational yeah, speech that's right you know a slim motivational well, speech we're getting there, one of those <laughs> wouldn't you that's right but you've got other people as well within the organization uh, Stefan Thomas Amazing. who's written the the dummies book that's on right. like, how to network got people like Debbie Huxton mm. I mean amazingly uh, a couple of weeks back on Business Connections Live yeah. our other program show, yeah. uh, we had Josh on but, yeah. and Josh Pierce and he, he came on now his he's mentored by Debbie Huxton that's right all through the four networking organization right. and because of the way he knows how to market himself over 10,000 10, views thousand view, it is quite, quite what, what he's done once again is, is leverage the network so whether it's like Facebook likes you're after whether it's views on your YouTube whether it's a reputation however you want to do it but Josh lovely lad 21 years old 21 year old four networking member just think about that 21 year old and then you've got someone like me 42 and yourself there Stephen Nainter <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cheeky so-and-so. You're watching Four Networking TV. This is the uh, first programme. You're going to see a programme once a month. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take the highlights and still to come on today's programme. A very exciting announcement concerning Four Networking and the team that run it. So that's coming up in just a few moments' time. And also we're going to be talking to a Four Networking member and find out how Four Networking has benefited his business. That's all to come right here on Four Networking TV today. Now, we are trying to cram as much as we are our target time is half an hour it may be slightly longer because it is the first one but not very much longer so if you're watching over your lunch break it's great to have you with us now if you want to see just what a, a typical four networking event is actually like then all you've got to do is look through your uh, diary look through uh, online at the different websites that four networking have that'll tell you where your local team are meeting up but if you want to give a real example of what it's like have a look at this Welcome to 4 Networking. You're 60 seconds away from joining a business network that's like none other. Come on! With over 5,000 events running every year, you can network every weekday or online completely free 24-7. When you attend, which groups you go to, who you work with, like everything 4 Networking, the choice is yours. Our events are fun, relaxed and friendly. At each meeting, not only do you get to tell everyone in the room about your business, you also get three one-to-one -one appointments with the people you choose. Whether you want to network at breakfast, lunchtime or evening, there's sure to be one nearby to fit in with you and your busy schedule. Just search online or download our free app for iPhone and Android to find one local to you. All this is backed up by a dynamic website where you can give your Google rankings a boost with a free online profile today. And join in with the discussions happening right now on the community forum with a network of over 50,000 online members. Sign up for a free account and book your first meeting today. For networking, anywhere, anytime. Smile, be chat, join for networking. Brad. Yes. <laughs> Sitting next to you is a young man. Don't show him yet. Don't show him Don't yet. Don't show him yet. Don't show him yet. Is he going to be one of the dragons? That's the big question. You know, um, we've got a new director joining us today. So nine years on to the day, we've got a new director joining us. We've needed a new director for some time and um, people have been saying, is this one of the dragons out of dragons then? Because that was the, the sort of gossip and the, the rumour. And the answer to that question is no. It's, it's not. not. However. But it's somebody better. 
We think so. We think so. Steve, do you want to do the big reveal? No, no, I'm going to let you do it because that's what you do. Straight down the camera lens. Boys and girls, the new director of strategy and operations at Four Networking is Mr. Jason Dutton. Hello. There we are, Jason. It's great to have you. Thank just, you. Just sit yourself down comfortable in the chair. Yeah, just that. a bit. You're, you that's it. You got. That's it. Just down. That's it. Let's that? take it nice. Jason, it's great to have you with us. Great to now, be here. I met you a little while back. Um, I think I met you at the Wolverhampton Networking Show when we were up Correct. there. So that was last year. So here you are. You're now officially on the board of Four Networking. I am indeed. All right. I'm going to be the investigative uh, journalist now. <laughs> okay. What do you bring to Four Networking? Why is it? Why is this such an important move forward for the for the business? I think Four Ends a great business, and Brad's achieved along with the team an enormous amount of work in in that nine years of its history. I think what we need to do is remember that Four N, it's bigger than. Brad and all the energy and the excitement that Brad brings. It's bigger than Terry Cooper, our chairman, Steph Thomas, our network director, and even the, the great staff we've got at HQ. 4N is about its members, and I think we need to get better at putting the members at the absolute centre of everything that we do. So how are you going to do that? What are the ideas that you're going to be bringing forward? Then? We've got lots See, of... See, Brad's even interested. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, <laughs> Brad's, that's, that's, so how Brad's are you going to do this? Up, yeah, well, let, 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 let me just move it backwards a little bit. Let's find out who Jay is, because, you know, this is not just some bloke who's my stunt double. This is a guy who's got a lot of heritage, um, not only with business, but also in my life. All right. So well, let's, So where did you two meet then? Um, this is 25, 26 years 1989. ago. 1989. Yeah, 89. Um, we, were, we met in a video game shop in Manchester. Now, it just so happens that I think we've actually got a picture of oh, that. Oh, good God. That, that really? video game shop, haven't we? So you were both 19 years old. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine you didn't look anything like the... Oh! Yeah. oh yeah. No, 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 I no, had no, hair. No, that's no, not no, Jay, no, by the way. No, no, no. Yeah. So uh, I take it that's you at the back there, bro. That's right. It was, and yeah. that isn't me at the front. No, it's let's, not. No, let's, let's just that's one of the bros that I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when will I be first? That's it, yeah. uh, let's, let's just have a look in, inside of the shop as well. So this is it. That's the exact shop. That's the exact shop. That is the shop. Yeah. And that's where the pair of you met. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And were, are you, were you a big gamer, were you? What I was a big gamer, still am. Um, mm. And I used to work for a video games company. My background is predominantly video games, entertainment, and journalism and at the time I was very early on in my video game career and I was working for a video games company based in Manchester and I happened at the time to be you know had access let's say to a variety of video games and but not an access to, to a large stream of money so in the event <laughs> the new game came out I was very fortunate you'd review it I indeed and we'd get given um, we'd get given promotional copies promotional copies or staff copies of a game um, and I would then kind of run down the high street to the local game shop um, which is where I met Brad, and I would basically concoct some unbelievable story about I'd been bought two copies of this game, <laughs> one myself, one by my girlfriend, I'd accidentally lost the receipt, would it be okay to swap it for the game I actually did want? Um, the first time I did that, uh, Brad said, okay, you know, on this occasion that's fine. I think the second time he just started to laugh at me, um, <laughs> and I think we just kind of had this connection, we just kind of got on, and then we started to, to kind of, you know, be, be friends and hang out and, and go out. <clears throat> nightclubs you know um, sure. getting so, involved well, quick we'll move on but uh, <laughs> I think what's interesting about my life and also Jay's path is that uh, you know uh, my, my history is quite different <laughs> to, to Jay's Jay's gone the corporate route and I think I went the party route, really, when I was a yeah. young man. Uh, but Jay went the corporate route and actually worked at many uh, companies, such as Hasbro was probably one of the biggest... Yeah, I worked at, um, Hasbro was, uh, at the time was about a 4 or $5 billion toy company. Mm. Uh, and they were desperate to get into the video games industry. They made some acquisitions and they wanted to try and transition away from some of their existing toy brands that are more popular, like Furby, Barney, etc. But they also wanted some space in the interactive industry. So I got involved in that and I, I, I help them on their marketing and communication So side. more recently Jay, um, your, your previous business, what was that and what did you build it from? from um, to? We started out as a, it's about 12 years I was working for a, a basically running the international arm of an American video games company. We started with literally day one turnover of zero um, and then we took it to just over 20 million pounds um, where we were taking our products direct to a variety of different international markets. And you were the head of European for that? I was the managing director and vice president of the international business which was basically all territories outside of North America and Canada. But that's a big change though, isn't it? That's <laughs> a big, big change. I mean going from the big corporate that's high right. life that's right. to running what, so, so I mean that's got to be, why? Why have you gone from that um, to full networking? 
I not the four network is oh, down. stop <laughs> that stop that Steve <laughs> four, four and it's many things but it's a great first and foremost it's a great opportunity but I think more than that it's the opportunity I spe- I've spent a huge proportion of my career basically working for American shareholders and you know my value or the value of what we do was basically summarized by a number on a spreadsheet there was no direct connectivity between the, the, the people who were at the heart of the business that I right. worked for and that's why I think Four Ends different is that it gives me the chance to connect to really kind of understand what the membership need and that's what we're trying to now create. When you came to your first full networking it was over in Blackpool it and Jake James came along to his first full networking and the truth as I said earlier it was nervous it was shaking like a leaf terrified and, and this is the point that he made to me he said look you've got to understand that actually somebody turning up there for the first time is, is scared to death yeah right? it's true it's uh, you know everyone's experience you in some ways you overplay your own experience because you take that as being the norm um, I've got experience very eclectic experience across a variety of different fields you know I ride motorbikes I do martial arts but if I was to put somebody that hadn't experienced that into the same room as me I would just assume they have the same mm. fundamental skill set and technique um, and I remember I didn't sleep the night before I was playing my faulty seconds over and over mm-hmm. in my head what if what if I mistake it and I think sometimes that's what we lose sight of is we're there as a support mechanism for businesses of a varying degrees of size personality skill and experience and what we have to do is get better in making business networking easier which is what we're trying to do do, do you think you sometimes have the the problem the the perception of of maybe Brad mm. in as much as Brad to mm. a certain extent you know you become the motivational speaker mm. you stand up there you're the, you're the figurehead of the organisation and sometimes people lose sight of what for networking is about it isn't just a vehicle for Brad no, it it is a vehicle for them correct and does that sometimes get lost do you think in in the the fluff of I, the personality stop I, that I think <laughs> what you have to look at is obviously I've known Brad for a long long time Brad is before I was the Brad Burton yeah that's right (laughs) Brad is as brilliant as he is chaotic he is a hotbed of ideas of intent and sometimes it's like imagine a Richard Branson you know Richard he, he kind of wears his funny jumpers and he's out there kind of he's a spokesperson and he's the driver but don't for one second assume that that Richard isn't smart analytical dedicated determined and has a great team of people underneath him that actually provide the right service and product for the people their customers that they're trying to sell to that's what we're trying to do with 4 now is, is give the membership more one of the things that Jay really isolated from the outset again was he looked at the website he looked at the website and he said, you know, it's too chaotic. Once again, there's no clarity to this. And it was for me to have to go, okay, he's right there because what we've done with the website, we've built it upon like Lego bricks and somewhere along the way, we forgot why we was doing it. So everything that he's done with Jay, uh, so everything that Jay's done has been about really paring stuff down and then rebuilding it up in a correct uh, manner, which is what your, your focus is right now. Absolutely, it's about understanding what the business community needs from Four Networking, what type of support we provide to them both online and offline, how we can actually give them more for their membership. It's not just about saying, hey guys, come to a meeting when it suits you. But business networking, like running a business, isn't like a trip to the dentist. Right. It isn't something that you do once every six months just because you feel like you should. It's about a continuation of evolution and evolving your business. Oh, I love that. And it's that's what Four Evolution. Is what it be. No, it is. the other bit, the bit about the, um, the, the trip to the dentist. It's true. Because it makes <laughs> a sense. Because you know you go there actually, oh, because you've got pain, as opposed to yeah. going there to ensure so that you don't get pain. Right? We're not an emergency service. Right. We're not like the AA that you join the membership and only hope to use them once when you're in mm-hmm. real dire straits. If you want to get the best out of all networking, it has to be a continuous cycle of attendance, understanding, development, evolution, and improvement. And that's, and that's what that's you networking. see as well on the website now right. as well. The website. I don't know whether you've had the influence in it, but mm. the, the website now is about problems. Can we just have a quick look at, at the website? Um, as you can here at the moment. So all people n- need to do is to go to the uh, the online bit there and you go at the top, go and register for a, a there you go, go and register your details. Okay, right there you go, start there, go, press, click go, go and register your details, put yourself in there and then click on this, uh, our online community, Steve. So that's it, there we go, click, click that. Actually click on it. Yeah, and then if you look there, the say hello section, that's what people need to go on. Say hello, go and introduce themselves to other people. And if you just scroll down to the bottom there, keep going, you'll see that that's many people are on at the moment. There's you, now, I noticed this the other night, yeah. actually. I, I went online and I was looking at the site and I thought to myself, how many sites do you come across that actually have a facility like that? Mm. And if you, if you just look there, it says, there are currently 1,144 right. lurkers yeah, on yeah. the site. I love that you expression. Know, you know those people, Steve, they're the people that don't log in. 
They don't log in, they just look at the information and actually don't log in. Log in, register for free and you get all the benefits that are associated with that free membership. And then we've got our 56 members on the site there, right. and the new members that have joined up today. Now, this, any business would be very pleased with this. Uh, there are 19 yep. new members. And the other thing that's good about it, the post count. We've mm -hmm. got uh, 51 posts. That's now, right. these aren't like your normal posts that's that you right. get, are they? They're not posts where people just come along and go, oh, yes, um, yeah, not really. uh, can you tell me if they can? You've got some like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, of course. But that's that like social that. stuff, once again. But the great thing about what we've got for, with for networking is we've got um, all over 50,000 registrations we've got 50,000 registered UK businesses just not and that grows to the tune of 60 to 100 a day it's mental absolutely mental when I say 50,000 it's probably more like 90,000 last time we checked it's just growing bigger and bigger every single day it is a remarkable website if you want to find out more details uh, some of the personalities in fact this gentleman here yeah. uh, Richard Eaton <laughs> We should have him on How? as a guest. We should have him on as a guest, quite frankly, shouldn't we? We should have that lady on as well, Debbie. Debbie yeah, we should right. have her on as a guest. i tell you what I did notice when I was going through it as well, Brad, yeah. uh, and I love this, is all the photographs are lovely photos. Mm. Look, there's Steve the Barman. That's See, we right. know these people. We've met them. But these are these are fun networking personalities, the likes of which people who have who've actually come from around the UK and just started like any other member and got themselves a national reputation as a result of fun networking. It's not like, you know, the directors that we've got from 4Networking, Steph Thomas, um, who's uh, the networking director, and also Terry Cooper, who's the chairman, both of these guys were members. They just came along like any other 4Networking person and, and just joined. And as such, they're now directors of 4Networking. This is a complete UK-wide um, network of opportunity. Do check it out. Now, don't forget, if you want to, you can go online and you can join up. There's a special offer online as well. And if, you've got, if you want any help or if you want to join mm -hmm. up on, um, on the phone, 0845 123 4 or 0845 123 They're the telephone numbers that you need to give a call on if you want to get more information. Go to the website. Check it out. Mm. If, you're, if you're a lurker... Uh, if you're <laughs> register. Lurker, if you're a lurker, then register. Uh, if you're not a lurker and you think to yourself, you know, I've been looking, I'm disappointed with the networking experience that I've had up until now. Well, here's an opportunity mm. to maybe find something a bit different. What's interesting about this whole four networking thing is we managed to connect people from around the UK with four networking, the website. And one of the next guests that was going to be here in a second is a guy called Richard Eaton. Mm -hmm. We're going to be seeing Richard. Richard, I met for the first time on the website. So we connected on the website, we've hit it off on the website, and as such, we're now friends in real life. That's just nuts. So do check out the website, 4 It really is worth doing. So don't miss out on that. Do, go along to 4 It's as straightforward and as easy as that to find out more information about 4Networking, a fantastic organisation. Uh, listen, before you walk out the door, because we've actually got uh, our, our next guest along in just a moment, we are slightly overrunning at the moment. If you had to sum up in shall we say three four maybe five key points what you are going to be bringing to four networking and where you see the organization in 12 months time what do you reckon it'd be um i think first and foremost it's about clarity it's about simplification it's about making sure that the product or service that we're offering our our members and potential new members is the right thing for them that it gives them the support and the solutions that they need both online and offline that's the priority for me is making sure we're delivering what our members require i think in terms of us as a business it's about growth it's about taking our business and the model that we've now created and accelerating that both further throughout the uk but then obviously going into international markets because how exciting is that not only have we connected an entire kind of uk industry of small business owners but the opportunity to also create that and draw in people from all these international markets it's hugely exciting no business now is both national and international and what a great opportunity to do that all under the uh, the four networking umbrella steve he's not as thick as he looks this lad <laughs> he's he's definitely not as thick as he looks is he <laughs> you know it sounds absolutely truly exciting it is, it really now is. you're going to leave us right now and uh, we've got our next guest coming on who brad is going to introduce and have a bit of a chat with great listen it's been interesting um talking to you likewise thank the you. very very best of luck when I it comes that. to thank everything you. that you intend to do and the plan are we going to have the networking event this year as well absolutely uh, the tbns is happening this year again and it's over in september and we're going to be running the, uh, the business networking show uh, over in september the same place as last time the wolverhampton race course and it's going to be even bigger and better with some amazing speakers Smile, be a chat, join for networking. 
Now, one of the people that was uh, that we saw just a moment ago, we said we should have him on the programme. Yeah, Richard Eaton. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Yeah. Let's beam him in right now because he's actually joined <laughs> us. If only we could do that, that would have Amazing. been fantastic. There yeah. he is. Yeah. From Atware, it's lovely to see you. Now, the last yeah. time we met, I think, was at the Business Networking yeah. Show. Yeah, it was. And, in fact, you're coming on the Business Connections Live programme, I think, next Wednesday, <laughs> live. Well, so. at least you know where the studio is, Richard. Yeah. 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 Have a small problem. Uh, we are running a little bit over, but hey, it's the mm. first show and that's the way things go. Yeah. For networking, what's it done for your business? How has it helped you? And why, is, why have you taken the time out to get so heavily involved with it? Yeah, uh, really, I came across for networking four years ago. Mm. Next week will be my fourth anniversary of 4N, all the fours. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, and uh, I first came across Brad by listening to one of his audio books. Um, uh, looked him up online. Uh, I think our first communication was over Twitter. I tweeted right. him. Oh, he's tweeted me back and mm. he said, well, why don't you come along to a meeting? Mm. Um, the Pied Piper of networking, aren't yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, 176 uh, tweets a day. He's going yeah. to be able to find the figure <laughs> in yeah, on yeah, one yeah, of them, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I went along to a 4N uh, like most people. And just like Jay was saying, was absolutely scared to death mm. uh, didn't know what to expect i'd never done any business networking at all um really didn't know what to do uh 40 seconds i was scared to death about um, common theme there common yeah, theme yeah exactly yeah. Um, and sometimes it's difficult to remember what it's course, like so when you're welcoming new visitors right. then you've got to try and remember that sometimes so how many breakfasts have you been to richard roughly I have no idea. It does tell you on the website. Does it? Yeah. But, you know, I mean, for, for people that say, well, you know, you're wasting your time going to these breakfasts, yeah. there's no business that's done there, it's too social, you're just having ch chit chats with people. What would you say to people? All I've done is not rocket science, this networking lark. Um, the first thing was just be helpful and nice to people and right. just have chats. I've actively never tried to sell anything to anyone. That's the point. Yeah. That's the point that I made earlier. That's what people miss, isn't it, about yeah. networking? Yeah. That is the key thing. Are people surprised sometimes when they come to the events that you organise? Are they surprised when they come for the first time exactly what happens? No, because before they come along, then we try to tell them what to expect. So we'd, the last thing you want is turning up at an event and someone says, oh, now you've got to stand up in front of 30-odd right. people sure. and tell them about your business, mm -hmm. um, in which case they'll be heading for the door. So, so why, um, why, why do you travel the UK with for networking? Because some people stick to their locale, they're based in Leeds, and they'll go to two or three meetings. You and have got a national reputation right now, which yeah. is almost nuts. Does it make financial sense to, to, to be driving? Like, to this morning, I believe you was at for networking Bristol, which is sort of yeah. 150 miles away. Does it make financial sense? How do you... Question. How do you make it financial sense? <laughs> it yeah. makes sense to drive around the UK going to so, the meeting uh, as you say using the forum mm -hmm. using just all the tools that Forum gives me so like I say this morning uh, I went to a meet I've never been to before Bristol Cribs mm -hmm. um, there were three people there that I know from the online side of Forum that we already have that relationship wow, with wow. and it's about cementing that um, I drove down to South Wales yesterday had a meeting Every meeting I've got over the next three days, and that's 12 meetings, have all come from 4Networking. So this business of yours, Appware, does, does mobile apps and the likes, but you've also got a new product, which is this restaurant product. Tell me about that. Yeah. So to date, we've always built bespoke products uh, like the 4Networking app, because yeah. um, again, that's something mm -hmm, not to forget. Um, I did a quick check outside. There's 55 4 n meetings within a 30-mile radius of that, exactly where we're That's at. better than my 20th Leeds. It just shows you, see, yeah. we lose that. We sort of forget about that. 55 meetings within a half-hour yeah. journey from, from yeah. where are we, sorry? That's yeah. nuts. I know. Sorry, go on. You've seen you. Yes, you so, and I know that because I looked at the right, app outside right, here. Right. Yeah and it tells me where they yeah. are, when they're on, uh -huh. so it's a really good way of planning mm -hmm. your meetings. Um, Restaurant up. But yeah, so, so this morning I was at Bristol Cribs, um, now we've got this restaurant app, I'm using 4N as the platform to launch to, so without fail since Christmas time when we've been talking months, about this, yep. um, every single 4 networking meeting I've come away with at least one lead because everybody knows someone as a restaurant but, or a client. But I think, that, I think that's, uh, although that's spectacular, I think if somebody came in and it was day one, they wouldn't oh, get no, that. No, I think yeah. what's happened over the last four years is built up a head of steam. So people know him, people trust him, people like him. Uh, as I said, there needs to be an element of likability and that's yeah. why it works. What would you say to someone, Richard, that says, 
for networking doesn't work. Yeah. Genuinely, what would you say? Yes. Um, I've done team roles before. Mm -hmm. I've run a group myself. Are you um, still involved in the team now? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Big company now. 5,000 <laughs> meetings, sorry. Yeah, I run one of your meetings. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had people that come along, they join, they come five times on the 200 day passport. Yep. They're like, oh, I'm not getting anything from it. Mm. They say, have you been to any other meetings? No, I just come here every two weeks. Have you done any foresights elsewhere? No, well, you're not spreading that. You know, one of the things I say when I'm speaking is would you, um, would you pass a lead, a referral, a job, a contact to someone you don't like, someone you don't know, someone you don't trust yet? Of course people say, of course not. Well, on that basis, just think about it. The reason that people pass you leads, you referrals, you jobs, in full networking capacity are people like you, they know you, they trust you. Don't expect others to forgo the same checks that you're doing. That's what you've sussed out. Yeah, like I say, it's it's only in the last few months that I've been pushing this restaurant stuff. Right. But it's because of four years of hard work before that, just getting to know people and raising my profile. But in full networking, you only meet small companies. <laughs> Brilliant. That's not cute. We never, we never pumped up. And it is all about the growth and it's all about taking the opportunity. But it's like all things in life. It doesn't just come to you. If no. you go to one of these events and you sit back and you're not proactive, right. well, you know, you do more of nothing, you will result with nothing. Absolutely. But, you know, yeah. become proactive at these different meetings. Talk <laughs> to people. Be likeable. Of and you've got a real opportunity here. With, with yeah, when I was, I was being facetious there when I was saying his own small businesses, but you've had access to some amazing big companies as a result of people, maybe yeah. second, third, fourth generation of contacts that you've met with in Fortnite Weekend. Do you want to give us some yeah. names, drop names, drop some names? Yeah, so, over 50% of our business comes from Fortnite Networking. Right. 95% um, of that isn't with people in the room. Right. Most of it is people who have introductions. Mm -hmm. So, we have clients uh, who've come purely from a foreign introduction right. because that person has got to know me really, really well and he's happy to recommend right. me. So if someone says, oh, we need an app, they uh -huh. say, oh, well, I've got just the person I for see. you. Uh, and that's what it's about. It's just those connections. And in terms of some of the big organisations that you've had connections with as a result of phone networking? Go on, name drop. No, I'm you. not sure he's allowed to because I know he did sign an NDA in one of them, so but I know that one. But anyway, I can't talk about Mickey Mouse. Anyway, move on. Move on. Listen, I mean, we, we are rapidly running out of time. I know you've yeah. travelled over 150 oh. miles to be here for what is comparatively a short time, but as no, I said, no, you're cool. on Business Connections live next Wednesday, live at yeah. 6 o'clock. We've got an hour of you. <laughs> God help us all. Uh, but I tell you what, the, the thing that's exciting is that you, you came because you believe in the brand and the product so much. Yeah. We didn't want today to be a blatant sales promotion for for networking that is what it's about it's about education it's about understanding what for networking can offer you as an organization if you are already not a lurker but a member <laughs> and you are signed up well thank you very much for watching the particular program we hope at the beginning of the show it gave you a bit of an insight into what for networking is all about what it stands for a little bit about the history as well the exciting news as well uh, about jason now joining the team now a lot of you will have actually met him over the last couple of years mm -hmm. he's been there lurking on the outside for a number of years but now firmly entranced as part of the leadership team of this ever expanding ever growing organization a fantastic opportunity if you're in now as you are if you're in on the ground floor now you're about to watch the explosion of an organization that's going to get bigger more powerful even more credible that's going to give your business that edge and we all need the edge in business at the moment J just before we do um, allow Brad to do a bit of a wrap-up Richard if you had to sum up the key benefits then for for networking for appware for your business for yeah. you what would it be straight down camera number four which is that one there by the <laughs> way so go on okay. what would it be yeah so there's a whole online side where you can connect with people the fact that it's a national network so like i say i'm been in bristol south wales all over the last couple of days all these are meetings via for networking and tomorrow i'm at bridgewater this morning i was at bristol cribs being able to do that is just fantastic because it gives me a national reputation um, and even wearing silly things like this flat cap people recognize me can, can i ask you are, are <laughs> yes. you bald under the flat cap <laughs> oh absolutely oh, I'll tell you absolutely let's end on the high uh, yeah <laughs> Is it compulsory that you've got to shave it? Oh, no, you stop that. <laughs> stop that. <laughs> All right, listen. It's, had you finished, by the way? I interrupted very no, rudely no, there. Cool. That was fantastic. And thank you so much for making the effort to be here today. No, no problem. Um, 
I've asked you the key things. If there was one thing and you're at a bar and somebody said, should I join for networking? If you had to just answer them in one single sentence, what would it be? Well, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the start. Uh, and what's not to like about meeting people, mm. getting to know them and then doing business. Listen, thank you very so, much indeed for joining us today. Uh, hope to see you run, but then I knew we would. Yeah, that's all right. But, but you know what? It's, it's been wonderful. Yeah, it's been bumpy. We've enjoyed, we've enjoyed the ride. Bumpy. bumpy. Uh, Interesting about bumpy rides, Steve. For the last nine years running for networking, I think it's fair to say it's been quite bumpy. <laughs> Understand this, that when you're running a business, it is bumpy. Because I think in your mind's eye, you have this idea that you're, you're going to start here and it's going to go on a lovely 45 degree angle to your success. What I found with for networking is this is how it went. <laughs> Boom. That's what's, what, what running a business is like. But you know what? You're still here now. We're sticking here. We're growing, as you can see. And we mentioned, alluded to it before about you know me being a front of house with four networking and, and being the character there. I recognise that. You're not it. stepping back, are you? No, I'm not stepping back. Far from it. But what we've realised is the likes of, of Richard is here as a result of me and my books and, and the likes. So we're going to continue to do more of that. Well, I think Jay primarily is going to be driving this entire organisation. But I'm not stepping back. Come on. I love this thing. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I've got a real passion for it. That's the other thing, Steve. I've got a real passion for this thing i've got a real passion for four networking and our uh, our whole mo um, is to make a positive difference and we continue to do that nine years on and for the next nine years watch what we do we're going to take this world over in a lovely positive benign way so there you have it and that pretty much uh, wraps up this very first four networking tv it's been lovely to have your company i hope you've learned a little bit about the organization of course you'll be able to watch this on uh, the youtube channel and over a period of time there's going to be we're going to develop the four networking mm -hmm. tv youtube channel as well so some great opportunities there as well to make certain and maybe we'll be asking for you to contribute as well when it comes to the, the different content that we've got. So really from all of us here today, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. I hope you've enjoyed the content. I think that's what's been really important about today. Uh, we've introduced some new people to you, but more importantly, you're getting to know the faces behind this ever-expanding, ever-growing company for networking. Uh, from me, Steve Hunt, and Business Connections Live. From you, Brad Burton. And from you. Thank you, Richard East. <laughs> it's uh, been great having your company over the last, uh, well, I think around about four 36 five. minutes, that'll do. Uh, 36 <laughs> minutes yeah, and the rest. Uh, listen, until the next time, take care of yourself and don't forget, successful work out there and make that business of yours successful too. Till the next time, bye for now. Bye-bye. Smile, be chat, join for networking.